what occurred during the historic event of Yalta. All right. So after the fall of Germany in World War II, the Soviet Union, Britain, and the United States discussed and agreed how Germany should be distributed during the historic event of Yalta. So after World War II, uh, Germany was the loser. It's 2019. World War II ended 50, 70, 80 years ago. Um, the fall of Germany now, right? So now... We allowed Germany to rebuild itself, okay? What did they do? They rebuilt themselves, they came back stronger, and they attempted to do to conquer the entire Europe again, right? So now here we have the fall of Germany in World War II, right? So now we're going with the mentality that, yeah, Germany is just going to keep behaving the way Germany does. They're going to rebuild. They're going to... Um, reestablish themselves, make them make themselves powerful, and then engage in warfare again, right? So now you have to put checks into the territories of Germany, right? Soviet Union checks, Britain, the United States had to put them in check, right? Uh, where actual military forces kind of controlled democracy there, right? And that's what occurred during Yalta. There were other uh, features added to this Yalta agreement here. Uh, Poland. Poland was affected. I believe uh, new territory boundaries for Poland was uh, established. And there were also uh, reparation costs that Germany was fine because Germany did invade Russia or the entire Soviet Union. So Germany was at fault and Germany did have to repay for everything that they destroyed all right uh, but the main thing is that there will be some type of troops between soviet union east europe this uh the and their democracies okay sovereignty the way they choose to govern within their state boundaries and their state borders 